do tiling. So all you do is simply you have um, you can make your PDF uh, now and include these things, and that's what I would suggest. So again, Adobe PDF presets. If you don't know what I'm talking about here um, and all these things, then go to another movie that talks about how to make these. And um, I'm going to go to, I want to make sure that I go to 300 CMYK and I want crops and bleeds. So we're going to click that one. That means it's going to include the crop marks and the bleeds. And I'm going to name it something so that I know it's different. Okay. So now a page will come up and now I'm going to go through it. So I want to make sure everything's 300 dpi, which it is, and my marks and bleeds should be on, which you can include registration marks if you want. You do not want bleed marks. It makes it a little too difficult to see. And I suggest just using the bleed settings that you set up when you were using your document in the very beginning. If not, just go ahead and change it to whatever you want it to do and uncheck this. All right, let's see. Output. Convert to destination, that means if I do by chance have any RGB files, I want to go ahead and change it to CMYK, and that will do that. Okay, and now I'm ready to export. Alright, so now in a minute, this will come up, and I will be able to open it in Adobe Acrobat. Cancel this, I need to do a page setup. Then we'll go back to that. Instead of letter, I want to go to tabloid and hit OK. And now when I go to print, file, P, print, or command P, I'm going to go back and choose that phaser in 11 by 17. I don't want to shrink it at all. I actually want to tile all pages. And it's going to have a little bit of an overlap, but I don't want it that little. I actually want, want at least an inch. Um, you're really good then maybe an in, uh, you know 0.5 but I'm gonna go to 0.8 and it gets me back to um, four pieces of paper 0.9 does the same so at least I have almost an inch but not quite which I just didn't want six sheets of paper so this is what I'm looking for I'm trying I can actually count how many pieces of 11 by 17 paper it's going to be it's telling me there's my crop marks you can see um, so once I put these four sheets together they will be overlapped and that's what these kind of checkerboard lines are telling me it's going to use four pieces of 11 by 17 paper and I know that because this is the I did the page setup for 11 by 17 for the whatever printer you want you can do and page scaling is tile all pages and I do want cut marks, which we've already put cut marks in there, so we actually can take that off because my cut marks are already in, in there. But we're going to leave it just in case. Maybe it'll give us some overlap. And then you would hit print, and it would print.